welcome to this week's harmonica lesson. I'm Tomlin from TomlinHarmonicaLessons.com and I'm going to be showing you a really easy way to get into playing solo blues harmonica just like what I was doing at the beginning. So what you're gonna need for this lesson is a harmonica in the key of C. We are playing in second position in the key of G and uh, let's start with getting that rhythm down. So the rhythm that I'm playing, the chords that I'm playing, are holes one, two, and three simultaneously. So I'm going to do draw, blow, draw. So what I'm doing, I'm playing what's known as eighth notes. So those are notes that last for half a beat. So I'm playing one and two, one and two, Okay, let's try that together. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so you've got lots of space in between repetitions of the rhythm, and that's where we're going to play some single note phrases. Now, it's really important that you make that transition from playing the chords to playing the clean single notes nice and cleanly and you don't end up playing chords that are a little bit too narrow or single notes that are a little bit too wide and start getting in some of the extra holes around them. So the first little phrase that you're going to do is just a two draw on beats three and four. So you're doing Okay, so let's try that with the rhythm. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so get really comfortable transitioning between the chords and the single notes. And then when you're ready, let's have a look at the next phrase, which is where I'm going to introduce a concept called call and response. So call and response is where you have a call phrase, that's the, the first phrase, and then you respond with a similar phrase with a slight variation. So I'm gonna play through that, you're gonna hear the call and then the response. Okay, so the call phrase was two draw, two blow, two draw. So, and those are eighth notes starting on beat three. So you're gonna go three and four. So that's the call. Let's try that together with the rhythm, with the chords. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then the response is going to be two draw, three draw, two draw. And it happens in exactly the same place, so between beat three, starting on beat three, and then to beat four. Three and four. Okay, so let's try that response with the chords. One, two, three, four. Okay, now let's put them together. Let's do the call and the response without stopping in between. One, two, three, four. Cool. Okay, so the rest of them I'm going to go through quite quickly because it's the same idea all the way through. We have a call phrase and then a response phrase. So example three sounds like this. Okay, so the call was just two blow, then one draw, and the response was two blow, one draw, one blow. So we're adding in an extra note, uh, but apart from that, it's, it's not massively different. So let's try that together. One, two, three, four. Okay, and now example four. Now this one's a little bit trickier because you've got less space to play with. So I'm gonna play it so you can hear what I mean by that. So one, two, three, four.
okay? So the first call, the call, is two draw, three draw, two draw, three draw. But it starts on the offbeat just after the chord. So what we're going to do is we're just going to practice making that transition from the chord to the single note. So we're going to do... And again... Okay, and then the three draw is going to land on that next beat. So let's, let's try that, the call. One, two, three, four. Okay, so you really need to have your transitions between chords and single notes very tight there. And then the response, it starts in the same place, but you're playing two draw, three draw, four blow, three draw. Okay, so let's try the response together. One, two, three, four. Cool, so let's do the call and then the response. One, two, three, four. Cool. Right, next one, a little bit easier. Let's listen to what it sounds like. Exercise five. One, two, three, four. Okay, so the call, four draw, four blow, three draw, and we're back to starting on the beat for that one. But then the response is going to add in the little offbeat note just before it. But to make it a bit easier, you're just playing the same note again, so you're doing the four draw twice. Okay, so let's try that response, because that's, that's the difficult bit. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's put the call and response together. One, two, three, four. Cool, okay. One more example, example number six. Sounds like this. One, two. Three, four. Okay, so this one, you have no space whatsoever. So the call, you are going straight from the chords into playing a series of eighth notes, so they last half a beat, of one draws. So you're gonna be doing Okay, and because you're playing the same note five times in a row, you're going to articulate it. So you're going to go da 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 da. So let's try that. One, two. Okay, let's try that with the chords as well. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then the response is very similar. Uh, except that the penultimate note is going to be a two draw. So you're doing one draw, one draw, one draw, two draw, one draw. So let's try that with the chords. One, two, three, four. All right, let's put those two together. A one, two, three, four. Cool. Okay, so I went through all of those licks quite quickly, and the whole purpose of them is to give you an idea of some really short little phrases that you can interject between a, a repeating rhythmic theme. And what I want you to do once you've practiced all of these and you can play them comfortably, I want you to start just making up your own. Use these notes and just fit them in the spaces in between the rhythm, and you can start jamming and improvising around that, and it'll be a lot of fun, and it'll do great things for your playing and your rhythm skills.
Okay, so if you want to download the tab as well as get access to the audio clips of me playing through each of those licks, all you need to do is click on the link in the description below. But before you rush off and do that, just very quickly, can you give me a thumbs up by hitting the like button below? And don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, to subscribe to my channel, because I put out a free harmonica lesson every single Wednesday, and I wouldn't want you to miss next week's, because it's going to be awesome. Right. Take it easy, thank you very much, and I'll see you next week.